With this video, I want to demonstrate that the area of a parallelogram is length times perpendicular height. And we all know that the um, area of a rectangle is length times breadth or length times the width. It's very, very popular. We all know that. But then how do we also be sure that the area of any parallelogram is length times perpendicular height? That's what I want to demonstrate with this video. I'm sure you can bear with me that this plane figure here is a parallelogram. It is because opposite sides are parallel and are equal. So side CD is parallel to side AB and they are equal. And opposite angle are also equal. So I can even um, change it to be like this. It will still remain parallelogram. Now, when the interior angles of a parallelogram tends to be 90 or right angle, then this um, plane figure now becomes um, a rectangle. You know that very well. Now, we want to use these two ideas to find out the area of a parallelogram. This shape still remains a parallelogram and we can distort it the way we want it. Um, it will still be a parallelogram. Now, I want you to observe that we want to draw a perpendicular line from any point on the side or the length to the base. A perpendicular line it could be here or it could be anywhere maybe at the stream end like this you could also have it anywhere perpendicular line drawn from the top to the base now it means this perpendicular line now has divided the area into two now when i pull the other part of the area and i join it with the other side you can see clearly that the two areas form a rectangle a perfect rectangle and so if you want to find the area of this rectangle, we know it to be length times the width. And then the width here represents the height of the parallelogram. And so we can say the area of a parallelogram is the length of the base times the perpendicular height. If you drag this to the side over here, that's the height over here, we can still see that the part of the other area when I join it to this part I still form the area of the rectangle and so as simple as the area of a rectangle being the length times breadth we can also see the area of a parallelogram is the length times the perpendicular height thanks so much for watching this